Hello and welcome to Berkshire Guitar Amplifier Repairs. Today I'm going to be doing a very quick video on how to bias the Marshall DSL JCM2000 Dual Super Lead. I think the TSL is the same, I can't remember from memory. It's fairly straightforward on this Marshall because they provided three little terminals on the back of the amp and two bias pots on the back of the amp, almost unheard of in valve amplifiers. You've normally got to remove the chassis and start fiddling around with either bias pots or fixed resistors. So I'll spin the amp round, I'll show you where those little terminals are and where the pots are and then we'll take the chassis out and bias the amp which will be fairly straightforward. Here we are looking at the back of the amplifier and here are the three terminals where you measure the bias. The centre one is ground the right hand one, or should I say between the ground and the right hand one, does one pair of valves and between the ground and the left hand one does the other pair of valves. We're going to be measuring across here in millivolts, so set your meter to millivolts and we're looking for, I don't know, about 35 milliamps per tube. So that equates to 70 millivolts because the tube current from a pair of tubes goes through a one ohm resistor and you measure the current through the pair of tubes. You can't measure independently here. So we're looking about 70 millivolts per side, which will be 70 milliamps per pair, which will be 35 milliamps per tube, which is about right. So here are the adjustment pots here. I use this little trimmer tool, which is nice. And clockwise is less current, anti-clockwise more current and as I say we'll just adjust those by measuring across here with a little multimeter in millivolts. Now you don't have to take the chassis out to do this adjustment but I do want to take the chassis out on this particular customer's amplifier for another reason so I'll be showing you this bias adjustment with the chassis out. So follow the procedure I'll be showing you now with the chassis out but don't bother taking your chassis out to do it. hope that's clear I'll see you when the chassis has been removed. Right, how to bias the JCM2000 DSL. I think the TSL is similar too from memory. Marshall have provided these three terminals on the back here at which you can measure the bias. Very unusual. Hardly any amp manufacturers, including Marshall, allow you to do this. So the centre pin is common or ground and this is measuring the current through one pair of tubes and that's measuring the current through another pair of tubes so we can't measure the tubes individually and then we have two little bias pots here which allow you to adjust the bias on the pair of tubes so let's see what we've got here you need to set your meter to millivolts because effectively we are measuring the current across a 1 ohm resistor. So millivolts turns into milliamps. 50 millivolts would be 50 milliamps, 75 millivolts would be 75 milliamps, and so on. So let's now measure one pair. You can't do any damage here, you can short circuit these. It's only a 1 ohm resistor and very low voltage, so don't worry about any of that. So let's measure across here, and we've got, I'm looking for about 35 milliamps. And that is looking quite promising. We've got uh, 76 milliamps through 76 millivolts across a one ohm resistor is 76 milliamps through two tubes. So that's about 38 milliamps per tube, which is fine. Let's have a look on the other side. So this should be similar, and it's miles out. So on this pair of tubes, we have got only 34 milliamps between the tubes, both of them. So I'm wondering, either the bias pot is completely misadjusted or one of these tubes might not be working. I'm just feeling the temperature. You can often feel if a tube is running cold. Well, let's see what the bias pot does. It might just be that the bias pot is out of range. 
Right, I'm going to make my life easy by putting a couple of crop clips on here so I don't, don't have to keep dabbing these on. So let me do that and then we can start fiddling. Right, there we are. We can go hands-free now and I'm just going to put my little trimmer tool here into the pot and give it a twiddle and see what happens. It's the wrong way. It's anti-clockwise to increase the current. Okay, well it's just the bias pot look was way off. So let's bring this up to 70 milliamps. They are slightly interactive these I've noticed before. So we'll now go on to the other pair now. See that's gone up to 80? Shouldn't have. So we can now bring this down and remember clockwise to decrease so we'll bring that back down to 70. About 35 milliamps a tube is fine for this. Don't sweat bias currents, it's not critical. A few milliamps is neither here nor there. Now we'll go back to this one, look, so we need to... Again, not that it matters, but we'll aim for 70 on each side. Ooh, that's a big power surge there. So 70 and 69, you know. Not worth messing around, but for the sake of purity, we'll just nudge that up to 70. There we go. So that's job done. 69 point whatever on one side and 71 point something on the other. There we go. I'm happy with that. That's the Marshall JCM 2000 biased up. Well, there you go. Job done. As I said, fairly easy when you can get to the bias points actually without taking the amplifier chassis out one in five thousand amplifiers does that and uh, fairly straightforward to bias the amp up this was quite a long way out as you noticed so the customer had been playing this in a very imbalanced condition for some considerable time so there we go job done easy peasy and i'll catch you on the next bias video thanks for watching